and today in this video we will be discussing more about how we can easily find the azimuth angle from a reference azimuth and we can correct our gyro. The most common way we surveyors do in the marine is to take a sun azimuth or the sun angle. So how does that work out? Let's say early in the morning the sun is somewhere here near the horizon and this is your vessels and this is your vessels fore and aft line. You determine your position on the vessel first and then you measure the angle to the sun. You measure this angle. Let's say this angle is A. With the help of a sextant, you can easily measure this angle and you know your position. So you have two kinds of data. One is a position and one is an angle, but you need another data that is called time. So at exactly what time, at exactly what position you have measured this angle, that is very important. Time is very important. Okay. Now there are some websites which I will show you later and I will also put the link below where you can go and find the sun's azimuth, the exact azimuth of the sun with reference to the true north. Okay. Suppose this is the true north. And you have found the angle of the sun's azimuth to be angle B. So at an exact time of your observation, you find out the angle of the sun's azimuth at exactly in your position. Okay, The sun's azimuth will vary depending on the time and the position. So you have to find out the sun's azimuth exactly and you have measured the angle from the vessel's bow to the sun. So with this data, suppose the sun's azimuth that we have found is to be 89 degree. Okay. And the angle that you have measured, this angle A is found to be 45 degree. Okay. You have to measure the angle as precisely as you can. So what will be the heading? That will be B angle minus A angle. So that is 89 degree minus 45 degree is equal to 44 degree. 